California's reservoir levels are rising as a result of this month's strong rains. Many are now beyond their seasonal norms for water storage, something many haven't experienced since late 2019 or early 2020. It amounts to 27 million acre-feet of water stored throughout the state, which is the first time this has happened since 2020. The statewide average water storage level is 107% more than the historical average for this time of year. Shasta and Oroville in the state's north, San Luis in the western San Joaquin Valley, Don Pedro and McClure in the state's center, and the eight largest reservoirs in the state have all matched or surpassed their historical averages. While Trinity Lake in the north of the state is at approximately 50%, it is still an improvement over three months ago. Two other locations, Berryessa in Napa County and New Malones in the central Sierra foothills, are both above 90% of their historic norms. Other reservoirs that are important sources of water for California, such as New Bullets Bar, Folsom, Camanche, and Sonoma in the northern half of the state, Millerton and Pine Flat in the middle, and Casitas in the southern half, have also exceeded their average levels for this time of year, ranging from 110% for Folsom and New Bullets Bar to 154% for Pine Flat. Castaic Lake, a significant source of water in Southern California, is currently at 88% of its historic normal, which is below average but still an improvement over the 67% it was at a year ago. All of the main reservoirs and those that are significant water suppliers are currently storing more water than they were at this time last year, when none had yet reached their historic average, demonstrating the extent of the impact this winter's recurrent storms. According to Molly White, Water Operations Manager for the State Water Project at the California Department of Water Resources, the reservoirs will continue to fill as the state's snowpack, which is already 227% of normal to date, melts throughout the warmer months. In response, she added, local levee maintenance organizations, emergency and flood management organizations, and reservoir operators would collaborate closely to control excessive flows and public safety. White pointed to an executive order signed by Governor Gavin Newsom last week that aims to make it easier to capture floodwater in underground basins by temporarily suspending some regulations as evidence that while all the water is unquestionably beneficial to the state's surface water supply, much of it could also be stored underground.